Hi, my name's Emily and I'm a canine behaviour and training advisor here at Battersea. Today, I'm going to show you how to stop your dog from pulling on the lead. This training is aimed at dogs that have developed bad habits and may pull excessively on the lead. If you have a puppy or a new dog that isn't yet used to walking on the lead, check out our other lead walking video. This should stop the behaviour of pulling on the lead from happening in the first place. Dogs usually pull when they're really keen to get to something. This could be the park, another person, or even something really exciting that they want to sniff. If they pull and then reach what they were after and get there quicker, you may be unintentionally rewarding this behaviour. Dogs, like humans, will naturally want to pull away if we're pulling back on them. This could mean that by inadvertently pulling the lead, you could be making that behaviour worse. Start by setting yourself up with the right equipment. We would recommend a flat collar or a harness. If using a harness, we would suggest one that doesn't restrict the dog's movement throughout its shoulders. You probably already have this equipment, but we would recommend getting a separate flat collar harness that you can use specifically for this training. If you ever need to walk your dog but don't have time specifically to practice this training, you should use the old collar or harness. This will help to maintain consistency for your dog and will make sure that you don't undo all that hard work whilst you're still training. There are lots of gadgets on the market that are designed to stop pulling. These often work for the wrong reasons and can sometimes cause discomfort in your dog, so we really wouldn't recommend those. You should start in an area without too many distractions. This is so that your dog can get to grips with the new technique. It's important that you don't allow your dog to successfully pull towards something that they want whilst they're on the lead. When they pull forwards or away from you, simply stand still. Wait for them to look back at you and then encourage them back to your side. Once they are back by your side, you can start to walk forward again. This is known as the stop-start technique. Your dog is possibly very determined and potentially quite strong, so keep the hand that's holding the lead anchored to your body to help them keep still. Once the lead is loose, you can give your dog a treat as a reward for good behaviour. Once your dog is getting the hang of this, you can increase the number of distractions. This could be food, toys or even other people. Whilst your dog is in another room or even inside the house, set up a walking route with a few distractions along the way. It's best to begin with something that they're interested in but don't love, such as dry biscuits rather than chicken. Put your dog on lead with their training collar or harness on and start to walk past the distractions. If they remain calmly by your side with a loose lead, you can give them a treat. As soon as your dog looks at you and takes a step back, that's when you want to reward them. Your reward should be something that's even better than whatever is on the floor. Remember not to pull back on the lead. Hold still and let the dog release the tension for themselves. Once your dog is able to do this reliably without pulling, you need to work up to distractions that are harder to resist, such as a food bowl or another item that they really love. Keep practicing this in different locations. So if you started in the house, move to the garden and then you can start practicing outside on your real walks. Remember to practice only with your dog's training collar or harness. This training will require a lot of patience and you will need to keep working at it with your dog. But the end result is going to be so worth it. That was how to teach your dog to stop pulling on the lead. If you'd like to learn more about how to teach your dog the Battersea way, visit our website or follow our channels.